on and this is the reading on the boy I am waiting for um, the questions on um, what is this on my new Instagram Google easy to come through so that I can do part two of the Google easy um, go go easy um blah, blah, blah. i don't know what i'm talking about i'm trying to look for um i the, the other questions for trump all right here we go okay these are your questions patreon for donald trump and we will do that first before we go before we do the boy who tried tried to kill um donald trump so here we are did melania or trump's kids have anything to do with it go who was in line in the republican party to replace him if the attempt had been successful okay um how will secret service secure future guys are you serious okay <laughs> okay Okay, will the Hitler-like president be susceptible to assassination? Some say that Trump had a fake blood packet. Okay. All right, so no, we're not, we're not using these questions. So I'm going to share this little bit of, your, of me reading your questions on um, Patreon because, guys, this is so... <laughs> okay i just think it's so funny i just think the questions are not for trump the questions were for trump but this is just showing me that people are really not interested in trump it's, it's interesting that people are not interested in trump at all because these questions are really not for his soul he didn't even know what was going on with the assassination so he didn't give us any answers at all when it comes to that so, um, yeah, he, he was blank, blank when it came to his own assassination. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here for your entertainment so that you can see that I laughed at your asses. <laughs> and now I know that in the black community, nobody is looking out for Donald Trump. Unfortunately, he might be your next president if nothing stops him unfortunately so anyway i will do instead kamala harris versus donald i mean why the heck not let's have some fun kamala versus donald okay let us see okay so donald donald is still in the plate from my last reading so now i'm just going to call kamala so i'm gonna ask them all the same questions just like three of the same questions to see who gives what okay kamala 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 so kamala walks in with more confidence than she did in the last reading i did of her and then she tried to sit on donald she's still trying to sit on donald and i'm like kamala find your own seat please do not sit on top of another energy this is a very oppressive female she is very very oppressive like she is oppressive she just has that energy of an oppressor now that she's more confident of herself right so now i'm gonna ask kamala so kamala what are you gonna do for the black community what are you gonna do for the black community kamala she's still trying to sit on the other but i don't care at this point what are you gonna do for the black community what are you gonna do okay she says sweet talk then i've got nothing in particular in their direction however um yeah that's what she said sweet talk them because i've got nothing in particular in their direction so a shell fell money money that was supposed to go to the black community that she has in her hands she has that money it's not going to get to the black community there's a lot of money that she has in her hands for the black community but it's not going to get to the black community it's not a little bit is she's gonna give a little bit 
but not everything that she has okay she will support education education of black universities and black youth she will support issues like that and government money will go in that direction she will not support like black housing and she will not support like affirmative action she says i feel like affirmative action has had its time it's over it's had its run it's over okay so now i'm gonna ask Trump, what are you gonna do for the black community Trump, what are you gonna do for the black community Trump, what are you gonna do for the black community i hate to say this but i think i'm gonna say it uh what's her name what's her name kamala seems to find uh trump attractive the sitting on him seems to also to be coming from an, an from an attractive perspective so donald ain't gonna do shit for the black community as far as he's concerned you've had enough you've been given enough you're a done deal he's not gonna do in fact donald is going to take from the black community while kamala gives a little bit to the black community donald is gonna take it all donald is here to take it what belongs to you okay seriously i mean that is the answer that we got okay abortion kamala are you going to change the abortion laws are you going to change the current abortion laws kamala are you going to change the current abortion laws yes or no are you going to change the current abortion laws yes or no are you going to change the current abortion laws yes or no i see what she does that she she would do that by changing the judges if there's a judge that is going to retire she would you know she says she's gonna try it's an uphill battle and what has already been done is entrenched in time so if only she gets a second term as the president of the united states then she will work on the abortion laws but right now she will have to work with what is there okay this is a long-term thing obviously Trump. Are you going to change the abortion laws and the app? Are you going to change the abortion laws? That's a no. That's a definite no. Are you going to change the abortion laws? Well, a shell fell out, which is always a no. So now, is he going to change the abortion laws? The answer is a definite no. However, he's going to entrench anti-abortion it's going to be entrenched he's saying something about white power and white people becoming less and less as the mexicans take over so he's going to entrench anti-abortion laws so basically when trump gets into power women are really gonna roast those who like abortion you're really gonna have a hard time okay um Kamala, what is the biggest thing you're going to change for people? What is the biggest thing you're going to change for people as the president? What is security? She's more about security. She's more about international affairs. She says the things that they won't see, the things that they don't know are happening security terrorism that's gonna be her thing while she's president domestic affairs do not interest her at all i'm just being honest domestic affairs don't interest her at all security terrorism keeping america safe is about that life okay trump what are you going to do for the people of the united states if you become president what are you going to do for the people of the United States if you become president? What are you going to do for the people? What are you going to do? Money. He's going to try to revamp the stagnant um, economy. And he's actually going to succeed. <laughs> okay. No, seriously. He's actually going to succeed. He's going to revamp the stagnant U.S. economy and he's going to succeed. He's going to pull quite a lot of people out of poverty, albeit Caucasians, 
but he's gonna pull quite a lot of people who are struggling right now and they are in poverty he's gonna pull them and they're gonna go to the wealthy side quite a lot of people yeah he is about the economy he is he works on the economy all right so who is the better president okay Kamala will you make a good president yes or no will you make a good president yes or no will you make a good president yes or no no that's a definite no it's no I don't know and then no okay Trump will you make a good president yes or no Will you make a good president? Yes or no? Will you make a good president? Yes or no? Let's see what we get. No. <laughs> Definite no. Absolutely no. These two people are seat fillers. Pretty much. They are seat fillers. They are just sitting there waiting for a historic figure. Neither one of them are historic. You know what I'm saying? Neither one of them are historic. They're just sitting there waiting for a historic figure. Okay? Alrighty. So thank you so much for this one. Thank you guys. I'm glad I did this one. Impromptu because I'm going to wrap this up. I mean, you know, starting next week, I'm going to do Cardi B and her pregnancy. And I'm going to check out, uh, what's her name, um, her rival, you know, Nicki Minaj, whom I am a fan of. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to wrap this up this week because everything is at a standstill. Everything, everything, the pieces have now been put together. Just waiting for someone to say, go, pretty much just yeah there's nothing else i can say because yeah pretty much there is a waiting for someone to say go okay just like a girl like okay but everything that's meant to happen is hanging in the air already you know so thank you all so much for joining me and like I said, I'm not putting any of this stuff on YouTube because, yeah, I'm not stupid. So thank you so much for joining me. And I'm, I'm totally wrapping this up because there's pretty much nothing going on anymore. Okay? Thank you. Be kind to yourselves, guys. Be loving. Be gracious. Be sweet. Be nice to you if you know you have a toxic person in your life and you see them wanting to make a comeback after the relationship is long dead and over and I'm talking about you girls who are always taking your men back Stand strong and remember what they did to you and do not take back that vomit because that vomit will only make you sick. Think about it as a projectile. You vomited something out. Now it wants to be easy, you know, whatever. Okay? When you let go of toxic people, no matter how much it hurts for you to do so do not bring them back again to sit at your table they were lost you were lost do them a favor and do yourself a favor okay thank you guys bye